Hi everyone, this is Claire from iAG and today I'm going to be showing you a number of range of motion exercises to relieve back pain. Now range of motion exercises are a form of stretching and what they aim to do is bring your joints back to their full range of motion. So each of our joints has a healthy range, okay? And when we experience an injury or pain, that joint can um, reduce in flexibility. So we want to bring it back to its full flexibility, okay? So let's start with our first exercise, which is just to sit and relax and get the body ready to, um, to, to perform these exercises. So let's just sit and relax, do some deep breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just relax. Okay, now, I'm not sure if you can experience back pain already, but if you can, then let's take these exercises easy, okay? Some of these exercises are more advanced. Please use them each to your discretion. All right, so let's get started with our first exercise, which is prone on elbows. So, you want to lie stomach down on the ground. Okay, just like this. And you want to have your elbows by your side and then you're just going to push up onto your forearms and stretch through your back. Now you should feel a nice lower back stretch here. Alright, now if it's hurting too much you can bring it slightly forward. But you want to, what you want to do is experience that full range, okay? You want to have your head up and stretch through your back, pushing through your shoulders. Make sure your arms are at right angles. Don't let them be up here or back here. And you're gonna hold this stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds, okay? If you can go more, push up even more. Great, so now this exercise leads into our next one, which is seal pose. So we're gonna come back down, chest on the ground, hands by our shoulders, and then we're gonna push up all the way into seal pose, okay? Just like this. Now, if this hurts too much, you can go back to prone hold, which is forearms on the ground. Now, if you can go even further, you can bring your arms closer and push up and head to the ceiling, okay? Otherwise, play around with your hands and find the correct position that you can hold for around 20 to 30 seconds, okay? Now, also remember in all these exercises not to be tense. You want to be relaxed, okay? And just allow the stretch to take hold of your back. Don't tense your muscles, just relax. Great. The next exercise we're going to be doing is lower trunk rotation. So, you want to come onto your back, lie down on your back, like this. Firstly, you bring your knees into your chest, make a right angle, and then you want to tilt to one side. And make sure you keep that right angle with your legs. And you just want to relax here. Now, if this isn't stretching, you can bring your knees a little bit further up and hold. And then you want to do the other side as well. Bring your legs to the other side. And relax. Now if this exercise is hurting, you can place pillows under your legs, under your knees, to support it, okay? You just want to do it nice, slow and controlled. And you want to do this around 10 times, okay? Perfect. The next exercise we're going to be doing is um, single knee to chest. So, lie back down on the ground and then bring one knee into your chest and then you want to pull down on your knee, bringing it in towards your chest. And don't push down too hard, just enough so it doesn't hurt. But you can feel a good stretch. And you want to hold it for about 30 seconds. Change sides and you're going to do about 10, 10 reps. Great. And then the next exercise is just going to be double knee to chest. So we're going to bring our knees to our chest, hands on knees, pull in. 
And same thing, you're going to hold for about 20 to 30 seconds. And you want to do this about five times. So you rest again for about 10 seconds. And then bring both knees to your chest again. Great. The next exercise we have is seated toe touch. So, our feet are up and they're flexed, okay? And then we're just going to bring, we're going to keep a nice straight back and we're going to bring our torso forward as much as possible, trying to touch our toes, okay? Now, if you work at this a little every day, I guarantee you will increase your range of flexibility in your lower back. So when I first started, you know, I, could, I couldn't even touch my toes, I got to about here. But over time, I was able to reach further and further and reach an increased range of motion. And you're going to hold for about 30 seconds. And don't push down too hard, okay? And remember also to breathe. You want to breathe out in the stretch. So you breathe in and breathe out into the stretch. And that will help with your stretches, okay? So the next exercise we have in the last one is tabletop arches. So you're going to make a tabletop position. What is tabletop? It is complete right angles with our body. So there's a right angle with our legs and with our arms. So that means that knees are under hips, hands are under shoulders. So, and then we're going to arch through the back, relaxing into the lower back, and then we're going to make another arch upwards. And you want to hold each of these stretches for about 30 seconds and make sure it doesn't hurt. And remember to breathe. So we're going to breathe out, we're going to breathe in and out into the stretch. And then we're going to breathe in and out into the upper stretch. One more time. And up. Great. So, they are our range of motion back exercises that will help to relieve pain as well as increase your flexibility, okay? Because stretching will help relieve pain. That is the aim. So, remember to discuss your particular discomforts with your IA collaboration team. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can pick your team from our directory of providers and enjoy the telehealth consultations from your home or on the go. You can find more information inside our website, which is iape.com. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed these range of motion exercises.